Good day, America and the rest of the world. Xander J. Hobson here, comedian, director, and producer of boxing documentaries and troll to those who need trolling. This here is another episode of Hell for Love News, brought to you by the Brain Artist Movement. Folks, do me a favor. I'm trying to grow the platform, so please subscribe, like this video, share it, and by all means, leave a comment in the comment section because I enjoy checking out the feedback from these videos that I make, as well as exchanging opinions and points and views with you all. So anyway, the first step toward justice has been taken in the murder of senior airman Roger Forson, the sheriff's deputy who shot Roger Forson, Eddie Duran, has been terminated from his job. Uh, after a lengthy and thorough investigation, it has been determined that the excessive force that the deputy used was unwarranted. Um, now that we can put a name and a face with the murderer, let's take a look at Eddie Duran. Uh, Eddie Duran was not only a sheriff's deputy, he was also a member of the United States Army, a fellow serviceman. Eddie Duran served from 2003 to 2014. Uh, initially, he was in the intelligence department, and then he switched over to the military police. He was also a combat veteran. He was honorably discharged in 2014. He then sought a, a career in law enforcement. He served on the Florida Sheriff's Department from 2015 to 2019, where he resigned from his post to follow his wife out to Oklahoma. While in Oklahoma, Eddie Duran was a fire marshal on Altus Air Force Base, and then he returned in 2021 and reapplied for his old job at the Florida Sheriff's Department. Um, folks, the bottom line is this. This whole thing is a tragedy all the way across the board, and it grieves me even more to know that Eddie Duran was a former serviceman, and he killed a fellow serviceman in his rush to judgment that day. Again, I don't think that Roger Forson should have came to the door with a gun in his hand, but I also don't think that Eddie Duran should have shot Roger Forson six times. Uh, instead of saying, step back, he could have said, drop that gun. But again, he took Roger Fortson's life that day. And while I was thinking about Roger Fortson, let's take another look at this young man. Senior Airman Roger Fortson, he was a good kid and he was an excellent serviceman. Um, I watched his funeral online, the entire funeral, and as I was listening to his friends and his co-workers uh, give an account on his life, I felt closer to this young man. Again, I myself, I am a former Air Force aviator on C-5 cargo planes. Um, it takes a lot for an African American to excel in any of these jobs, believe it or not. Prejudice still exists, but Roger Fortson was an excellent serviceman, and he was excellent in his job. I was listening to his supervisors talk about what a great and experienced aviator he was, and I am saddened by the loss of his life, as is his family and friends. Um, again, this young man, he was a air crew special operations operator on AC-130J gunships, the guys with the black and the green patches. I watched the entire fuel service that they held down at Herbert Field for senior airman Roger Fortson, and I felt like I got to know this young man a little bit better. And as a result of that, I'm so glad that the Florida Sheriff's Department has taken the first step toward bringing justice to this matter. Now, I will say this, I believe wholeheartedly with every fiber of my being is the main reason why the Sheriff's Department is taking this matter a little bit more seriously. I believe it's because Senior Airman Roger Forson was a member of the United States Armed Forces. This young man had a clean record. Uh, he was an honorable young fella. 
And then to add insult to injury, this young man was home alone. Uh, again, I read that report. Uh, the individual who called in the report or who called in the complaint, it seems that they embellished what they were saying because they insisted that they heard senior airman Roger Fortson scuffling with someone. And when they called in the complaint, they called it in as if someone's life was in danger, only to discover after this whole incident was over that senior airman Roger Fortson was home alone. Again, I can't stress enough, they say that senior airman Roger Fortson liked playing video games. And if he was playing a video game like Grand Theft Auto, I can understand why someone would have thought someone's life was in danger because these video games, they are horrible. Uh, shooting, violence, screaming, cursing. So there is a strong possibility that the person who called in the complaint heard the things that they heard. But the only problem was they were on a video game. And this whole incident resulted in senior airman Roger Fortson losing his life all over a misunderstanding. Uh, folks, as I get ready to close out this broadcast, I want to extend my full condolences to Senior Airman Roger Fortson's family and friends. And with that said, I'm done with it.